Three days have passed since the pilgrimage deceived the expedition and perpetual envoys, and destroyed them in a conflagration of fire. Since then, overtures of peace were brought before Arali on the heels of a devastating lightning raid that saw unreal bright eyes cast into a coma. It had been a glorious day for the Coalition, and for the Vostarg Lodge in particular. Their leader was responsible for the strike. The celebrations had been short, but the ale was good. In fact, the Volkite Berserker, Harald Backbiter, had with him a cast of the ale that he sipped from every so often during his watch. His Dawi were tasked with guarding this craggy path which led to where the Enlightenment engine, taken from the Temple of Nyruka, lay. Harald had heard the shade of Arali's father visited her. This, in conjunction with reports of the expedition mounting an assault in revenge, led to the beefing of security. The berserker took another swig and eyed at the darkness. His eyes narrowed, thinking he saw a figure in the gloom. Ugh. Must be some beast, he mumbled while rising to his feet. Suddenly, a great light broke the sky, accompanied by a thunderous roar. Looking eastward, he saw the meteors rain down from the sky upon one of the towns the pilgrimage occupied. His hands reached for the horn upon his belt to blast off commands to the rest of his unit stationed in the hills, but he never got the chance. Cold fingers gripped his neck, and Harald felt his blood freeze. Several Urgold tattoos flared and burned their magic, but to no avail. He never saw the face of his assailant, his last sensation being the pop of his jugular, as the cold blood came to a sudden and unpleasant stop. The winds whipped about the crags, brushing the beards of the other berserkers as they clambered up the rocks. One of them shouted Harold's name Harold. to the response. Look! Over there! The Volkite berserkers all turned their heads towards the shadows before them. In the gloom walked a figure, robes billowing about, a great scythe in its hand. With battle cries roaring from their lips, the Lodge brothers charged, bare feet thudding across the ground. The figure spoke a terrible word and reached out with his fingers. Suddenly, the Duarden felt their spirits quake and their bravery fall. Most tried to shrug the effect and to do their duty to destroy the intruder. The first there struck his axe, but the blade only pulled through an amethyst mist. A second struck, but his axe merely dissipated the shadows surrounding the form. Darkness cleared and revealed the face of a man pale beyond reckoning, yellow eyes sunken into his skull piercing the fire slayers to their spirits. He reached out with his free hand and intoned several binding words. The spirit flew to his side and lay upon his side. The man then went about to reap his harvest, swinging his loathsome weapon this way and that, each strike seeming to strip the spirit of his opponent from his warm, mortal body. The two remaining fire slayers dropped their weapons and fled. Hearing more arcane words manifesting spells behind them, a bright flash. No other man was present to view the wizard step out of the shadows and summon forth the umbral spell portals. Those in the camp below guarding the Enlightenment engine saw the other portal open just outside the perimeter. They would be fortunate to die first. The wizard drew the amethyst winds to him and began a dreadful incantation. The words he spoke caused the spell in his brain to writhe and grow, worming from inside his head out into the ether beyond. A gruesome shriek pealed from the void as the triple sun and Saif was born to the world once more. The grim visage of Zerus emerged from the spell portal and screamed. Those closest to it perished instantly, transmogrified into a statues of appalling violet crystal. From his vantage point, Valosh Kal examined the chaos he created. He glanced upwards, eyes searching for the signs of those coming to steal away the Enlightenment engine from the fleet which would soon carry it. The expedition would be revenged, but the Pleasure Darkane would receive the profit. <laughs>